what is going on guys it is Jay again with you guys for another video today we are giving you um, the market analysis we did last night on our live stream um, and we're also we went over some live trades we made while on live stream and we gave those live trades away as well uh, to anybody that was watching uh, during the live stream it's also trades that we put in our trade room our private trade room um, and we we show you guys uh, you know what happened from the point where we made the trade till this morning when we woke up um, and our trade was profitable so uh, enjoy the video guys peace and love all right y'all so let's jump into this market man uh, did anybody in the chat get this dip right here so I think last time we spoke was what day was it it was like a week ago, right? So it's probably the 24th, 25th. Of course, right after the stream, the, the price just dropped. I hate when that happens. Uh, it looks like right now, we're at this same resistance right here. 11,800, 11,800. This is where we got rejected last time. It's been it's been a point of interest for a pretty long time. Starting back here in the beginning of August, rejection, rejection. Uh, we broke through and then we broke right back under. Right here, we had a resistance. Then it flipped as support before it popped off. Then we dropped right under it. We had a little bit of support there but it dropped right under it's not it's not a strong support it's a minor support um then we dropped again we got rejected again at the same level so this was the last time we got rejected at 11 8 uh dropped all the way down this time we dropped pretty hard but the candles ended up closing around the 11 300 i was able to buy in one of our videos i don't know if you guys saw it we did enter at 11,200. We took a position there um, and we have basically ridden, ridden it all the way up to 11,800. So 11,006 it's a very is a very minor um, support. So I don't really like it as far as to buy in there if you're not if you're looking for a trade. I don't really like that support. 11,600 is it's too weak for, of a support for me personally. Maybe around the 11,500, we got some moving averages here. Um, so maybe there is a viable option. See 11,500, like as close to 11,500 as possible probably. Um, but just up here, I just feel it's, it's like so up in the air. It is not really a direction, you know, where you can get a proper risk reward trade. Um, so for Bitcoin right now, I, I'm, I'd be looking to, you know, enter back at a support, like maybe 11,400 or 11,200 or looking to enter a breakout over 12,000. Um, I just don't like this area here. It's been rejected so many times. I don't want to enter here kind of up in the air. Let's look at the, the the month close already. Hold on. It hasn't closed yet. As you can see, we are still in this same spot where we've had trouble in the past year. So we, we got to break through there. If you break through there <clears throat> above, we, we basically have to break above, close above 12,000 area. We need to break and close above 12,000. As you can see, we did not break and close above it. But it's a pretty small candle and it's not <clears throat> a huge rejection. So, I mean, we're, we're closing above 11,000. So that's good. So look at these over here. We didn't close above 11,000. 
so it makes me feel a little bit better uh but this candle right here is basically an in uh in this indecisive candle so it, it really doesn't give us any clue on what it wants to do <clears throat> let's drop down to the weekly As you can see, we're still writing this support right here, ascending support. Uh, we still got. We have we have the um, the bull flag up here still. So now it's starting to form on the monthly, which is it's a, it's a pretty good sign. As you can, well, this is a weekly, my bad. It's forming on the weekly, which is a pretty good sign. Remember our move before, we had the same thing. <clears throat> we had the, the bull flag pattern. Uh, and then we popped off. And then we're kind of doing the same thing right here. So we have a bull flag forming. And the idea is that this will do the same thing that this did right here. So maybe at this support, this little area right here. It'll bounce around here and then maybe use a support to push over 12k. So that's a, it would be a good little bit. Of, that means it'll take one, two, three. That could be four weeks from now. So that could be, it could be the, the entire month of September basically uh, bouncing around consolidating here before it, it pops off. Let's uh, go into the daily. The daily is basically uh, looking exactly how how the weekly is looking. So we bounced off of 9k after the bull flag here. We had the bull flag, boom, popped off from 9k. Now we have a bull flag here. Same thing that happened here. So we're here, and we can go probably the month of September just kind of consolidating here and hopefully get this this thing to pop off so we, we got all this range really guys all the way down to 11,000 like people are panicking because we broke we went down like under 11,400 guys we could we could drop all the way down realistically to about 10,600 as it did here and we're still we're still good you know so let's see uh, let's see what happens once it meets this ascending uh, support I'm hoping there's a move before that but if it doesn't if it keeps consolidating in this range then we'll see what happens around this area which is towards the end of September and then y'all come back and replay this video that's pretty much it for Bitcoin there's not much else going on right now it's been quiet the last over the weekend it was quiet not didn't really do do much uh, the only thing it did was last week basically when it dropped to 11,200 and uh, we wrote it back back up Anybody that was in our trade room, uh, we signaled this trade at 11,200 and we rolled that up. All right, let's check out um, Ethereum. Ethereum's been killing it. It's been the only thing really moving today. So as you can see here, we had the bull flag. Boom, it took off. It hit, got rejected around 440 to 450 range. Dropped right back down to the 380 support and it took back off um, we have spoke about this 380 support several times I don't know if anybody was able to, to grab that and jump in man I was looking at that level and I didn't jump in so I was I was a little upset with myself because um, I looked at it and I was like oh this is the level I've been waiting for should I enter should I enter 
and I entered the Bitcoin trade at 11,200 at the same time that this was at 380. Um, so I didn't want to risk too much since I already had Bitcoin and it was so indecisive at the moment, uh, kind of going up and down. I didn't also want to put uh, Ethereum trade in because they were both kind of correlated at the time. So if my Bitcoin trade wasn't going to work, my Ethereum wouldn't have worked either. So um, I only took the Bitcoin trade. I didn't take the Ethereum. So yeah, guys. So, uh, so I didn't take the day trade on Ethereum. Uh, and we're currently up at basically at the same resistances here. So it's kind of a double top here on the daily chart. Um, so we're not currently entering any trades right here. There's not a good area to jump in. If you're looking to jump in in Ethereum, then I suggest a breakout entry above 450. If we uh, go over 450, then the next my, my next target is basically 500. If we if we break 450, my next target is $500. I think we we could take it up to 500. So yeah, so looking at this trade, Ethereum, uh, it looks good, man. We just we need we need to break this 450, 440, 450 area, and we'll definitely hit 500. 500 is the next major major resistance. <clears throat> so um, if I'm looking for an entry for a day trade on Ethereum right now, my two entries are basically um, a breakout entry above 450. That's the main entry I'm looking for. I want a breakout entry above 450. If it drops, I'm looking at 420 first as a support entry. It's a minor support. Then 400 as a second support. Um, and the main support entry being 380. But I, you want to see it kind of go under and come back up, kind of like it did here. So you see here, if you would have entered there, you would have got stopped out. Then if you would have entered here, you would have been good. But then here, you would have got stopped out here again. So the things with with, with support entries is hard to time. Um, you just gotta make sure that you're tr that you set up a plan and you know exactly where you're gonna get out. Just make the stops very tight on these, because you don't want to you don't want to stay in if it keeps dropping like this. Um, just keep the stops tight, and when it breaks out above it, then use a breakout tr entry for for that. So when it breaks back above 380, you can enter, and you could have used here like a 390 first uh, target for your first uh, thing, and you would have been able to take to take some profits. Then um, as it goes, if it goes down again, then you you stop out again, and when it breaks above again, you enter again 380. And then you would have been able to ride that all the way up. Let's see what BCH is doing. Hasn't really moved much. It's kind of uh, lagging behind um, Ethereum. It's it was riding basically Ethereum for the most part, but here it's it's been lagging behind it now since the drop. It hasn't been able to recover. So we're not really trading anything on Ethereum right now. Um, the 270 range, let me see. I just don't like, I mean the 270 range is a minor support here. So you can get in here. Uh, it just, I don't like this, this how, how it, this is right now. All right, so, uh, so for Bitcoin Cash, Oh man, it's so you can take a trade here, but you need a stop at least. Let me see. So if you're trading the daily, you need a stop below 268. So it's not too bad. You're entering at around 271. Stop at 268. Three dollar stop. Your first target is right here, 280. So three dollar stop. Your reward is seven dollars. So you're you're getting you're getting the right numbers for it. You're getting the right odds to uh, 
to take this trade. So it's actually a, a decent trade to take right now if you want to day trade it. Enter on 271, your stop loss below 268.61, which is the low of this. Um, your take profit is 280, your first take profit. Second one is going to be 290 right here. Third one is going to be 300. So I, li I like the I like I like that trade there. But now that now that I look deeper into it. So yeah, so uh price is moving guys so if you want to jump on this trade make sure to jump on it now there's actually a pretty decent trade hold on I am about to take this trade Oh, should we make should we make this trade on our uh, the Bitmex I had set up to do the live trading? Hold on, let me see. Where is my uh... um? So I started here a uh, challenge: point one to one point one Bitcoin to one Bitcoin. I don't know if I made sense. So I want to uh, go from 0 0.1 Bitcoin and create this, turn this into one Bitcoin while trading live for you guys, basically, uh, within the next couple months. Um, let's go to Bitcoin Cash here that we're looking at. So this is the entry we're looking at, 272, right? Well, it's, it's up to 272 now. So on uh, whenever I do... So for Bitcoin, I usually trade at 10x. For altcoins, I usually like to stick to around 5x. I don't really like going above 5x because they can move so quick. So um, let me see how much we want to do here. Let's see what. See, this will cost us half of our account. I don't want to do half of our account. Not yet. This will cost us a little bit less. Um, so that obviously this is a liquidation price, so this is not actually what we'll lose. Um, but still, I want to have enough money to enter, you know, another trade. Where is it at right now? Two seventy-two twenty five x. All right, so we're gonna take this trade. Boom, we entered the trade. Now, what's the next step, guys? Who knows the next step after taking a trade? <laughs> All right, we got to set up our stop loss. So I'm going to set it a little bit tighter. Yep, Chipmunk. Chipmunk got it. You win the grand prize, which is not losing all your money when you when you enter a trade. So um, the low on Bitmex is 269.15. So I'm gonna set my stop below that low. So I'm gonna just set it below 269 overall. Just because 269 is a whole number, I'm going to set it right under. It could serve as a support. Um, so we'll do 269 point. We could do like, you know, doesn't really matter. Anywhere under it's fine. 0.88 just for fun. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Let me see how I can make this so that you guys can see it. There we go. Can you can you see it there? So we're entering right under this the daily low right here. 
which is the daily low on BitMEX is uh, 269.15. So I'm going to enter it under that and I'm going to just enter it under 269 overall. So I'm going to just put 269.85. Give it a, a little bit of room. Then have it close on trigger. Make sure you close out all your contracts. And that's just basically it, man. I'm, I'm going to leave it on stop market because if I'm not watching it, I want to make sure that it sells. I don't mind the slippage. And that's it. We will come back and look at this trade later on. So currently we're pretty much breaking even, I think. Or are we up? I'm not even sure. Because it says 272.65. Our entry was what? 272.2. .2. Yeah, so we should be up something. But when hover, this is your... Yeah, so we should be up right now. Alright, so we're just going to leave that there. And let's continue looking for trades. And I'll take the trades live. Alright guys, so that's uh, Bitcoin Cash. Some call it Bitcoin Trash. But anybody, anything that makes me cash is cool with me. Alright, um... Let's jump to XRP, Ripple, the famous Ripple that I get a million questions a day about. Uh, Chipmunk, on that trade, my leverage was 5x. Uh, when I when I trade on um, when I trade altcoins on Bitmex with leverage, I don't I don't like to use more than 5x on altcoins. If I'm trading Bitcoin, I use 10x. Especially on Bitcoin Cash. I'm not going to use 10x on Bitcoin Cash. Appreciate it, Chipmunk. Uh, Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Ripple. Let's see if we find another trade on Ripple, right? Alright, guys. I'm actually... Uh, I'm a signal. I'm also signaling this trade in my VIP group. So you guys just got a free trade from my VIP group. Hold on, let me write it. Let me write it real quick. What was the entry? 272. The stop was under 269. And the take profits are, um, I said 280, 290, and 300. Five, and I'm also no, no more than 5x leverage on this trade. That's it, right? Yeah, so you guys just witnessed a live trade and um, a signal that I'm sending over to my VIP group. So I'm posting these right now in the group. All right. It is up. And let's get it, man. That's cool. That's, that's a cool because cause I wanted to make that um, I want to make that a ser into a series. Growing an account from 0.1 Bitcoin to 1 Bitcoin. Uh, our first trade made us 0 0.02. So that's about $200. A little, a little over $200. That was our first trade. So not bad for our first trade. Uh, we put that video on YouTube if you guys want to see it. Um, it's this one right here. How to easily make a hundred dollars a day, uh, 
a day trading Bitcoin with leverage. Um, this is our first trade. So now this is actually our second trade, the one we just made live with you guys. So that's an update to that uh, uh, challenge. Nice, chipmunk. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's see uh I'm super ADD as well guys so I get off track all the time. Just gotta I gotta remember what what I was talking about. Alright. So Ripple. Let's zoom out a bit. Ripple finally moved. This is uh against BTC. Let's look at it against USD. Let's see if it's looking the same on there. Yeah, so we see the same movement right here. This is on the weekly. It's been moving a little bit. Uh, it's forming on the weekly the same thing as Bitcoin is forming a bull flag right here So um, We can expect a breakout entry above 0.33 Which is 33 cents and That could lead to uh, I would probably say that'll lead to 34 cents as a first target. Th 34 was rejected right here, so 34 cents would be would be the first target. Uh, you might need. The only thing I don't like about it is a stop. Let's zoom in a little bit to see where the stop would be. Uh. So look at this, these huge wicks, like, so this was after a big move. This is from 32 down to 30, from 31 down to 28, 31 to 26, and ran all the way back up. To about 33, dropped back to 26, and it's been slowly kind of fighting its way back up. So we're around the 28 cents range right now. Um, you see, 28 served as support here, served as support here. So 28 could be a decent level. Let's see, 28. It was uh, resistance here, resistance here. Resistance, resistance. So 28 might be a, a decent level for an entry. ETH moving? Uh, I'll take a look because I definitely wanna, oh shit, it is moving. Hold on, guys, because if this if this takes off, we, we want to set up that breakout entry that we spoke about. Um, give me a second, guys. Because when these things move, they move pretty quick. It's currently at the 440s um, resistance right now. If we look at it real quick. So it's trying to push its high right here. So this is the high from the other day from the 17th. If it pushes above that, we, we'll see a breakout above 450 probably. Um, if it breaks out above 450, then uh, we could possibly see 500 in the next day or two. So, so the way you enter breakout entries, you want to go once it breaks above 450. So you could give it a few dollars just in case it's a fake out. 
so maybe like two or three dollars um, and then have a stop below 450 so in case it is a fake out you get to exit then you also want to be able to take profits so your profits are we in the daily chart right now we haven't been to these levels in so long I have to like come way back here to 2018 so 500 you see there in 2018 that was a resistance level so this is how you find targets when you're looking for targets you have to always look back in history so we're currently right here at 440 we break out 480 and what is this right here 460 so we're probably looking at 460 as target one Four eighty is target two, and five hundred being the, uh, target three. So you're risking about um, probably gonna risk around five dollars for about a seven dollar profit if if you're only going to target one. But is that I, I believe is gonna go beyond that. If if we can break above. We're going to definitely hit at least 480 to 500. So even though we don't get the ideal um, risk reward ratio we want, this is, sometimes it's just a trade you got to take. So what you can do if you can risk around if you can enter above 450 just give it a dollar and have a so let's say 451 enter 451 and uh, set a stop about four dollars below for four dollars to, to 450 below your entry price then you have your, your two to one risk reward so that's what we're gonna do That's what I'm talking about. If you, if you guys have seen the videos, you gotta you gotta plan out your trades before taking them. You can't just take a trade with no plan. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about my risk reward ratio. I'm thinking about you know my entry, my so where exactly where my stop loss is gonna be, and exactly where my and where my uh, where I'm gonna take profit. You have to know all of that before you ever enter. You know you can't just enter. The way I, I find my profits is I, I went all the way back to look look how far back I went to find my targets. I went back two years to 2017 to find the targets on the same on the on a similar move. And if you go back here, this one just kind of went right through it. Um, if you go back to this is still 2018. You'll see that that it has effects on those numbers, like 500, 480. Look at 480 again. 440, 450. Like all those numbers, there's buyers and sellers there, so it's gonna act as resistance and uh, support. So I'm sending I'm sending this signal out to my trade group as well, and I'm gonna set up the live trade right now. Doing this live with you guys, so you guys are welcome to take these trades with us. Uh, where is my Bitmax? Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna hop over to Ethereum. Why can't I move this? There we go. All right, so go over to 
How much do we have right now? What's our available balance? Let's see. 0 0.072. I mean, 0 0.0792. So let's see what a thousand contracts get to us. 10,000 is too many. So let's go 2,000. So I'm going to do about 3,000 contracts here. May 35. We're gonna do 4,200. I don't know if it's contracts or USD, but uh, our balance is basically we're, we're gonna do half of our available balance here. Uh, pretty com pretty comfortable and confident in this trade. So let's see, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and enter. We're using 5x leverage. Make sure you look at everything. Your ex estimated liquidation price is 358. <clears throat> we're currently at 444, so we have more, way more than enough. We're not going to be anywhere near. Accounts insufficient balance. What? <clears throat> All right, hold on. Am I? Oh, I'm, I'm tripping, bro. It's 0.3. We have 0 0.07. JK, guys, hold on. All right, so we can't do that money because we don't have sufficient balance so we're gonna do 500 contracts <laughs> uh 5x <clears throat> all right so we got our order filled next thing set up your stop oh my god i'm tripping bro i am tripping dude i wasn't supposed to fill that i'm this is a breakout entry what am I doing, guys? Let's just market close this. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm closing the ETH position because that's not what I was trying to do. See, we all make mistakes. <clears throat> Alright. So, back to the correct trade that we spoke about. 451. Make sure when you're if you're setting up a stop market, uh, take the close on trigger off. All right, 500 contracts, da da da, 5x. We're good here. <laughs> well, lots of pressure went live. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm to I told you I'm ADD, man. Um, so we're looking for the breakout. We're gonna use a 451. You could you can move it more. You know 452 or whatever but i'm gonna just use a 451 entry uh stop market let's make sure we have everything right this time stop market 500 contracts we're limited to the amount of contracts due to our available balance remember we're, we're only working with 0.1 bitcoin here on this account uh i think everything lo else looks good so let's go ahead and set the stop by it would need to drop 20% for us to be liquidated. No, well, 19%, my bad. Um, but we're, we're setting our stops way before that, so we don't gotta worry about that. All right, so this is set up. Now, what you have to do when, when, you're, when you're setting up a breakout entry like this, you have to set up an alert on your phone so that you get an alert when you enter the position or when the price breaks at. Uh, breaks that price so we like to use either block folio or Delta their apps on your phone that you can download for free and you can put alerts on them so block folio and Delta is usually what we use um, I know you could set up alerts on trading view as well but I've honestly never used them let me see something Let's see, we're doing this together, guys. Add to watch list, no. 
at alert. Here we go. But now my question is, because I've never I've never used it, the alert thing here. <clears throat> Value. So I just want 450. I don't care about the rest. I just want to know when it goes above 450. Greater than. So when it goes greater than 450, I want the alert. Only once expiration. I don't know, bro. Never. Open ended. You gotta upgrade for that. Notify on app. Yeah. I have Trading View on my phone. Send email. Show pop up. Send email. Alright, so here you go. So you set it up like this ETH greater than 450. Create. Did it did it do it yeah there we go we saw all right so we set an alert up on ethereum for their breakout entry there you go and that's how you guys set up an alert to know when your position is about to get triggered we just did that live with you guys we just learned at the same time we've never set up an alert on trading view we, we usually use the apps so you can use Blockfolio or Delta. They're two uh, apps, Bitcoin apps, basically to track your Bitcoin, track your portfolio. Or you can set up, if you have TradingView, download it on your phone, you can set up a alert on here. And I just showed you guys how to do it. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. All right, guys. Let's go back to where we were while Ethereum figures out what it wants to do. We've given you, we've made two live trades with you guys. Let's see what happens in the next 24 hours with those trades. So we're looking at uh, XRP. I was telling you guys XRP. Wait, this is. Go to USD. Oh, my back is hurting from sitting here. So I was telling you guys, 28 cents is a decent entry. You could set up, you could set up a, a support entry at 28 cents, uh, and put it under the the daily. This the thing is, we're on daily chart. So you're talking about a three cent stop. If you want to go below this one, you got to go three cents. Um, your first target is 29, so it just doesn't make sense. So if your first target is 29 cents, you have it can't be more than 28. And if you look here, the daily's under that. So I mean, you can still doesn't mean you can't enter it. But you might get stopped out. See, it's been going up, 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 up. But like, see, this is what's scary. Look at this. In the last four hours, this is a four-hour candle. In the last four hours, it, it you would have got stopped out. So it just doesn't make sense to enter here right now. Because your stop would need to be too wide. Um. And your target, your target's 29. It's one cent. You would need to give up at least a cent and a half. So it just, it doesn't, it doesn't cut it for us. So we're not, we're not gonna take the trade. That's how you decide if to take a trade or not. But long term, longer term, if you guys are holding a uh, Ripple longer term. You got a bull flag here, so it's a it's a good trade to take long term. We we do hold Ripple long term. I don't know if I said Ethereum before, but I meant Ripple. Um, its next major target is gonna be around 33 cents to 35 cents. So that's what if there's a breakout, that's our target. So around 35 cents. Is what we're looking at 
if we're entering it, if we're looking for entries, we want either. It's tough. Because I enter at, to enter at 26. 26 could be an entry, a support entry right here. And you can have your stop below this low right here. So about a 50 to 60 cents stop. Um, if not, then you want to do a breakout entry. Your breakout entry is probably going to be above 30 cents. Or you could set one up right here actually, which is 29, 29 cents. But the thing is your, your target is going to be 30. So it's not really a good entry. Um, if you enter at 30 cents, if you enter at 30 cents, you need a, at least a one cent stop and your target is one cent. So it's a one to one. Yeah, it's tough. I'm not doing any day trades on it. Um, XRP right now. I just don't like any of the entries currently. So I'm just kind of sitting it out, only holding my long-term positions on it. Litecoin. So look, zoom out a bit. It's been on a downtrend for many months but it's finally green again um zoom in a bit Yeah, so it looks like the entry is way down here. Let me switch over to USD. So that perfect bottom entry is like $20. We saw it in March. That would have been like the ideal entry. The second ideal one is 40, which we were at 40 for a while to the end of July, basically. Our next target for Litecoin is probably $80. <clears throat> Let's zoom in to see what's been going on on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically here, we have support from $55 to 56, it's actually all the way from, oh, uh, it's, it's so wide here. I don't like these when they're super wide like this, because then the top is 69, almost 70. So the top is basically 70, bottom of this range is basically 50. 51 and some change that's a huge range right there so right now it's at 60 but um, you would need a stop below at least below 55 so you would need to stop below 55 at six dollars. Um, your first target is gonna be 70, six dollars. So it just doesn't make sense. Six dollar to make you'll, you'll make eight dollars. You're risking six. Not a good day trade for me right now. Um, you can take a breakout. You would be, a breakout would be above seventy dollars. Your target is eighty. So that's the only the only entry I'd, I'd be looking at right now. 
with Litecoin. Um, let's look at Cardano because I saw that it was up today. So it moved a little bit. It's had a huge drop. It dropped right down to our support that we have here. That we have marked here. Okay, so this is a 1000 range. Remember, uh, we spoke about this range a few times actually. All the way down to 1000. So this is kind of where you wanted to enter. It did drop below like where your stop would have been. But you could have entered on a break above. Which is what happened here. Which is why today it's up. it was up 5% or yesterday up 4.90 percent so the reason it went up that much is because of the break of 1000 then it broke the day before the prior day's high so it took it all the way up to 1080 looks like took it up to 1080 yeah so this thousand area such uh, satoshi area is a is, is a pretty good entry not bad the next uh, thing we're looking at is probably 1200 Satoshis. Then 13, 14, probably. Yeah, that's what it looks like. The top being 15 and 1600. Top of this range. So that's a good entry right there. I don't know if anyone took that. We spoke about that a few times actually. Link. Link, we spoke about this level several times. Where you want to enter Link, you want to enter Link at 13 to 14 dollars. It's gone into this range multiple times. Um, but you gotta also be careful. It jumped from there all the way almost to 18 dollars again. Now it's going back down. You gotta you gotta watch this to make sure it doesn't do a lower low here, because it might it could work its way. All the way back down to like seven dollars which is where it took off from so we'll keep an eye on that on link uh, if you're entering a trade if you want to enter a trade 13 to 14 dollars stop below basically give yourself about a dollar stop a uh, breakout I wouldn't enter anything unless it's above 20 as far as breakout goes. Thanks, Chipmunk. Tezos. Uh, it's just been dropping, man. I told you guys not to buy this. Like, once it was up here, like, did not buy. Hopefully, you guys didn't buy up there. Now it's coming back into a reasonable range where we could look for an entry again but we're probably looking around maybe three dollars is probably where, where we would want to enter if we're looking to enter tezos i would start looking to at, at an entry around three dollars it looks like 280 is another support 260 240 220 um, yeah, I'm still, I would wait for this $3 support here. It also has a moving average right here. So that's the only place I'd look to enter right now. I don't like any breakout entry at the moment. Um, so I'm only looking at a support entry there for Tezos. What's up? What's up? Y'all Jay signing back in. Just to give you guys an update on the trade that we took last night. Guys, it is looking great. Let me show you guys real quick. Let me get my face out the way. Boom. Alright, so here we go. So, as you guys can see, these are the two trades we took last night live on stream. We're up 39% on one for 0 0.0174 BTC. That's about $175. And on our BCH trade, we're up... 0.0091 or 22% for uh, that's about a hundred dollars uh, in total we are up 
just over $250. Let's see exactly exactly what that gets us here. Uh, just put Bitcoin price. And how much did we have? 0 0.0252. 0 0.0252. Not in pounds sterling. United States dollar. There we go. Wait, man. What is... Hold on. This thing is tripping out right now. So, one Bitcoin. Okay. So, 0 0.0252. $300, y'all. So, we've done about $302 overnight with the live trades that we gave you guys. So, we gave you guys these live trades. Um, that's $300 profit just on those two trades. If you guys would have joined us last night. We told you guys to join us last night. So, if you guys would have joined us last night you would have and took the same trades as us with the same positions, you would have made it easy $300 overnight while you slept. Um our our challenge account is now almost at 0.15 we're almost there so we're up 47 percent in the what the, not even a week it hasn't even been a week and we're up 47 percent overall on our account um we should be up over 50 percent and we'll be doubling this account real soon so uh you guys already know man if you guys want to take part uh on the trades that we're making uh, just join the trade group. We're sharing every single one of our trades there. Um, if you uh, want to see, oh, hold on. For some reason, uh, the connection was terminated, so I need to terminate <laughs> Bitmex. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see uh, follow the trades, you already know the trade room. Just hit us up on IG. Uh, also, the another way to get into it is through their giveaways. We need 30 likes on each video uh, and answer the question of the day. Uh, and that's basically it, man. Uh, I'm going to come right back with the question of the day in one second. I am back, guys. Let's get right into it. Guys, win a free membership, a free month membership in our trade room. Um, the question of the day, you guys know the drill. Every video, we will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video. Find the question, then find the answer in the video. Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month's membership to our trading room. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes. Good luck. Guys, we haven't been hitting the 30 like mark. What's going on, man? What's going on? Talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on? Um... I'm gonna I'm bring this down no I'm, I'm leaving this at 30 but what I'm gonna do this week for this video I am going to give you guys a giveaway on this video regardless of the amount of likes um, so on this one I am going to give it to you guys you just have to answer the question of the day like the video and drop a comment with the answer here we go question of the day is are you following us on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch yet? If you are not following us, then do so and then let us know that you followed all three of our channels in the comments. Regardless of the amount of likes we have on this video, we will do a giveaway tomorrow uh, when we release the next video. Alrighty guys, thank you very much man. Appreciate you guys. Peace and love.